What is up, Flavor Family? Wednesday night, 5.30, TikTok. My sous chef is ready. She's like, Dad, what's all this hubbub? Like, the lights are on. What are we waiting for? I just want to make some keto recipes because look at these cheeks. These are the cheeks of the keto queen. Everyone say hello to Rose Honey Parish. I hope you're having a great day. We got Art on the camera right there. Everyone good say hello to Art. Hello, everybody. Welcome. And we're having a good old time, guys. We're going to make one of my... Favorite, I mean, they're all, it's like choosing your favorite child. I only have one, so Rose is my favorite child. But I'm gonna make this delicious recipe from the cookbook, which was sold out on Amazon last week. The second printing just got completed. It's back on Amazon, so to celebrate, I'm like, let's make some recipes with the Flav City family and hang out and have a good old time. A uh, little bit of housekeeping. Can you hear us okay? Let us know. Art, can they hear you? Can you hear me okay? <laughs> Let us know if you can hear Art. We're in Sweet Home Chicago, and we want to know where you are. So leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner, and here's what we're going to make for dinner. We're going to open up the cookbook, Keto Meal Prepping, 125 low-carb recipes that actually taste... Waiting for me? Yes. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, we're going to open up the cookbook, and we're going to do a hybrid, actually. We're going to do these... This noodle salad, this is a sesame noodle, creamy peanut salad with vegetables, normally paired with uh, keto beef lettuce wraps. But instead, we're gonna flip flop that and we're gonna serve it with these salmon cakes. These are Asian salmon cakes with ginger and garlic. Normally in the book, it's served with a shirataki stir fry. We're gonna make a shirataki creamy peanut noodle. It's gonna be the bomb, you guys. Hey, listen, 500, listen, Rose, this is crazy. They have left over 530 five-star reviews on Amazon. How crazy is that, right? I mean, and the cover of the book, right? Rose doesn't know it, but she was in mommy's belly right there, right? Mommy was sucking in that belly, huh, sweet pea? Um, so if you have already bought the recipe, thank you. Leave a review, right? Amazon loves review. And if you know someone who wants to get on the keto train, but do it right. And by right, I mean healthy recipes that actually taste good. This is the cookbook for them. Amazon recipe down below. Okay, we got Jazzy in the house. We got Austin. Art and I will be in Austin on September 26th, 7th, and 8th. We're going to do a meetup. Details soon. Char Troyer in the house. Hello, Char. Hello, Char, the longtime fan from Michigan. We got Colorado. We got all that good stuff. All right, everyone could hear. I've got um, a question from the Bebop Cowboy. Yes. Bebop, Cowboy, Bebop Cowboys have been waiting all day to ask, what sriracha do you use? Well, I was going to unveil that today because I don't use the sriracha with the rooster on there because there's two pretty nasty preservatives that I would never put in her body. I use this, and I get it from Walmart. It is Sky Valley Small Batch Sriracha. Very clean ingredients because if I turn it around, check it out. It's all real ingredients. There's a touch. I mean, a touch of sugar in here. It's trivial but it doesn't have any preservatives. This is the real deal. I would only use that one. You can get it at Walmart. It's much cheaper than Whole Foods. All right, family, high five on three. Let's get started. One, two, three, booyah. All right, Rose, I'm gonna move you to a safer area for the demo. I think we'll just put you right here. How about Bangalore, that? Bangalore, India, in the house. Mm. Good morning What up, you. India? Desi's dying to go to India, do a little spiritual journey, some yoga retreat. So. We're gonna make Asian fish cakes. Super, super easy. We're gonna do it in the old food processor. And a lot of people ask me, Rose, when I make this um, or anything similar to this on Instagram, Bobby, are you using farm-raised salmon? And the answer is yes, because there's good farm-raised salmon, Rose, and there's bad. The bad one usually comes from Chile or from China, right? And what do I mean by bad? I mean bad farming practices where they pack a ton of fish into a small pond, they feed it antibiotics, they're basically swimming in their own poop. Then there's the good one, right? The one from Norway, where it's very sustainable, good quality farming practices. That's what they have at Whole Foods, that's what they have at Costco, and that's what I use. And I love it because, Art, look, it's super fatty and juicy, so it's hard to overcook, and it's also very juicy. So when you make cakes out of this, the fat actually emulsifies and becomes the binder. You don't have to add breadcrumbs or anything like that. It's really Quite amazing. So I had the fish guy remove the skin off the salmon. It looks like he missed one. I guess he wanted me to show you how to do it on camera. Um, but first I'm going to put some garlic in the food processor. This is so easy. It's like literally, Rose could do this, right? It's literally chuck it all Rose in the food processor, push play with your tiny little hands, pulse it up, 
fry them up in the pan. And then if you have keto maple syrup, you can make the most delicious, sweet and sticky um, chili sauce ever, which I think we're gonna do. So first I'm gonna put two garlic cloves, my dear, in the food processor and pulse them. Because I wanna make sure that it processes into small bites. Because I don't know, you haven't had this experience yet, Rose, but if you get a big hunk of garlic, it blows your mouth away. And if you eat garlic and your boo or your sweetie doesn't, ooh, no one's gonna give you kisses. And when you have a face like that, you want kisses all the time, right, my love? <laughs> Look at that face. Come on, how can you not love that face? Now, we'll take the salmon and we'll just cube it up. I was gonna ask the fishmonger to do it for me, but I figure we can do it together. Okay, guys, so here's the drill. Take the link from this video and share it. Share it over to Instagram stories. Share it over to Facebook wall. You say, yo, Flav City and Art are hanging out in Chicago making the best keto recipes the internet has ever seen. Now, obviously I'm being a little grandiose and you say, hey, the cookbook is back on Amazon. The second printing was a success and the rumor on the street, Art, is very exciting. Listen to this, you guys. We got rumor that Costco and Walmart are about to place orders. Knock on wood, right? I hear the Costco one is gonna be a trial run, meaning once I find out where it's gonna be, if you guys go and sell it out, they're gonna order nationwide. So I'm really excited to hear about that. And I heard Walmart might place a holiday order, so I'm super stoked. And the more we sell on Amazon, the better it looks to those companies. So keep spreading the love. Amazon link in the description box. I keep hearing people say they buy it for their friends, their coworkers. Thank you for sharing because sharing is caring. And I keep getting notes saying I'm losing so many pounds. I feel like I'm not on a diet. I have lowered my diabetes medication. That's what the cookbook is all about. Healthy recipes that don't make you feel <laughs> like you're dieting. That one's gonna go in the garbage, Rose. So we'll keep cutting that up. Now you can do this with wild salmon. I would just say that you have to add a little bit of mayonnaise, avocado oil mayonnaise, of course, and a pasture raised egg because wild salmon rose is a bit meatier and leaner and it doesn't have that natural fat content this has. And that's why I love this salmon. Got time for a timely question? I always have time. Guys, you have questions, you answer them, uh, you ask them, and uh, Art's gonna shoot them off to me. What size food processor is this? This is a seven cup food right. processor, yes. It's from KitchenAid. I don't really like it that much because it's starting to break. I'm in the market for a new one, so um, I'll let you know what I wanna find. Because Desi wants to start making homemade almond butter, and it doesn't work in this one. So I started researching which ones are good for nut butters and stuff like that, because you're gonna want nut butters eventually. She ain't gonna be allergic to peanuts, I can promise you that. And I heard the Breville one is pretty good. If you guys know of a really good food processor that you make nut butters in, just let me know, right? Because Rose is gonna wanna make it. Okay, let's finish cutting this up. And my goal is to get this done as quick as possible. We got Paul coming over for dinner. He'll be here at six o'clock, so he'll join us. Also known as the Eggman. Also known as? Chicken man. Chicken man, exactly also right. Also the beef man. <laughs> well, we got a lot of salmon. Leftover city. Yeah, somebody mentioned that's a lot of salmon. It's a lot of, you know what? Because in the book, it's a keto meal prepping book. So the majority of the recipes serve five portions. Because when you have food that's good, you want to eat it for lunch the next day, Rose. Because you don't want to go to lunch at work and then go to Chipotle or like Subway. You want to eat real good food that's going to keep you in ketosis. Now look, Art, he forgot to fillet this one. We're going to use that as an advantage. So I just put my knife at the base like this, right? Make a little slit. And then what I do, it's hard with a small piece, but what you do is you keep your knife here and then you get it flat to the surface. Ideally, you want to use a fish knife or a boning knife and then you wiggle it back and forth like that. Just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit, and then you don't want to waste too much salmon, but I think for a home cook, that's pretty good, right? And then, I don't really save the skin for anything. I suppose you could make like salmon chicharrons out of it. All right, you like that? Crispy chicharrons, Rosie? Okay, we filled up our seven cup to the brim rim. Let me put this to the side. Then we'll just add the other ingredients, which are super simple. We're talking like, Salt, pepper, green onions, a uh, little bit of ginger, and the garlic's in there. And then I think I'm gonna make the sugar-free, sweet, sticky chili sauce afterwards. This is what it's gonna look like, pretty much, Art. So here's, like I said, the Asian salmon cakes, and you can see how the green onions sear into the skin. Beautiful. 
And here's the beauty of the cookbook, you guys. Each recipe not only has a photo, it tells you dietary information, like this is a meal prep, it makes five servings, egg-free and dairy-free. And then I did the painstaking task of calculating macros, which is a pain in my butt. Per salmon cake, we're talking 1.3 grams of net carbs. Totally insane, right? And then we're gonna pair it with, in case you didn't see earlier, the creamy almond butter noodles with snow peas and red peppers from this one. And it has macros of 6.9. So the whole meal is under 10 net carbs if you have three or two uh, salmon cakes. Pretty cool stuff. Exciting, right, Rose? You were like, woohoo, raise the roof. Okay. You sound like the doughboy there. <laughs> Pillsbury? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of unrefined salts in there. A little bit of peps. I'm going to start preheating my pan over low heat. We're using a nonstick pan there. Hello to everybody who's joined and giving your location. That's Welcome. right. Hey guys, raise your hand if you've got, bought the cookbook because you guys have supported this book so much. It's mind blowing to me. And then raise your hand and let me know if you haven't uh, bought the cookbook. Holiday shopping is coming up. This is the stocking stuff or you want after you're gorging, fattening uh, holidays. This is the weight loss diet that's going to actually work. Then we'll take some green onions. By the way, is everyone having fun cooking with Rose today? Is she not the most patient baby just chilling here? I mean, I know she likes the lights. She's kind of like daddy. And by the amount she's talking and really gabbing, she's really going to be a talker like me. So pretty soon someone's going to have their own YouTube channel. So let's just slice some of these. I'm not going to put it in the food processor yet because I don't want to mince them. I want to keep them relatively whole. Okay, then ginger. This is how we break down ginger. I peel it first with a spoon to get rid of the skin. Ooh, I think I know what's coming next. <laughs> Art knows. And probably many of you too. your fans know too. Microplane zester, right? Ooh, ooh, Used in the book many old times because... Yes. You don't want to bite into a big hunk of ginger. It's really, really spicy. And by using the microplaner, look what happens. It goes into a fine pulp. So it really blends in. And I would do this with garlic too. Look, instead of biting into a garlic, you grate it like that and it becomes, you know, very, very fine. Brad Petrich says Rose is going to dominate the TikTok app. Oh my God, TikTok. I know. If TikTok is still around then, things change so quickly. She'll be a TikTok, Instagram, YouTube all-star. So a little bit of ginger goes in here. I'd say about a teaspoon. You know what? I need a little more because I put so much in there. The cookbook and a turkey meatloaf is in the oven then. Uh, star, the name of the cookbook, Flav City Keto Meal Prep. So all you have to do, guys, is go on Amazon. Any country you live in, search Flav City. Um, if you live in Spain, Australia, Germany, Philippines, the book ships there. Just search your local Amazon. But if you live in the U.S., use my Amazon link in the description box below. Um, you're going to love it. 530 reviews in three months? You guys are so supportive. It was pretty cool. He walked into the Amazon bookstore the other week. Our book was right there next to Gwyneth Paltrow's. I was like, Desi, this is kind of cool, right? All we had to do was get like Chrissy Teigen's book on the other side. It's my kind of sandwich, right? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, let me double check my recipe here. And this is an easy one. Like if you weren't talking and hanging out with your friends like we are tonight, you can breeze through this one in no time at all. Uh, so salmon's in. Garlic, ginger, green onions I'm going to hold on to, salt and pepper. So let's pulse this up. And now you got to go in and you got to mix it around. And this is another reason, y'all, why I love the Atlantic salmon is that a pulse is very easy because it's fatty. I've actually made salmon poke out of this before, and it's delicious. They say it's not technically sushi quality, but if you get the fresh one, which it almost always is, I believe it is, sushi quality, I've had it raw, it's fantastic. You just got a $4.99 super chat oh. from Cheryl Hudson. I found new Heinz organic yellow mustard without really? flavors. Really? Heinz makes organic? Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you knowing that. I'll put that on the Bobby Approved list, which, by the way, the Bobby Approved ebook shopping guide is coming along. Give me two more weeks. It's going to be available on Amazon. It'll have 
all the information from every haul video ever made and basically tell you what to buy and what to avoid at the grocery store and why. Lisa Lopez doesn't like sushi, but it's not going to be sushi, so you'll be fine. It's going to be cooked. Yeah, you don't worry about it. Okay. It's having just a little bit of trouble getting the whole... People are hyped for the ebook. Yeah, I it's, it's going to be good, that. you guys, because it's not only going to be a one-time thing. Every week, it's going to update with new um, data when we have a video. So you'll get pushes every single week, categorized by aisles at the grocery store, bread, beef, chicken, eggs, cheese, categorized by shopping stores, Aldi, Costco, uh, uh, Walmart, everything else, and categorized by ingredients, ingredients to avoid, ingredients that are safe, and why. You're gonna be the best shopper ever after you buy this ebook. Zencast5 says, why salmon? Why not catfish, trout, or bass? Why not? Do whatever you want. Absolutely, my friend. I do salmon because I love it, and it's something that people are very used to. If you're gonna use a fish that's a little, um, I'd say drier or flakier, just add a little bit of binder in the form of egg or in the form of, actually egg and mayonnaise. So what I have to do is just grab the bigger pieces down here and put them back in because it's still chunky. Can you talk about why tilapia is bad? So tilapia is bad because most of the tilapia in this world comes from bad farmed quality tilapia. I would say that some tilapia is okay but the nutritional profile of tilapia isn't ideal either. So a lot of times, or else you're getting bad quality farm raised tilapia combined with not the most nutritionally sound tilapia. So I would only have it once in a while. Get it from a place like Whole Foods or a fishmonger you know who makes really, uh, who gets really high quality. If you get it from a place like, I don't know, a Jewel Osco or even like, to be honest, uh, Costco, it's not high quality tilapia. You can do better. You, Bobby, can... you just got a $2 Australian super chat. Oh. Strays don't sleep five and says, Shh, don't tell my boss I'm watching this at work. <laughs> That's awesome. It works. So hold on. It is Thursday morning in Australia. By the way, you guys, Australia, amazing country. I was there this spring. Thank you so much. Brother. In Sydney, Melbourne, and in different parts of the countryside, touring farms. People are amazing, food's amazing. It's just so far out of the way, but man, it's such a cool place. I loved it. Okay, so let me just finish this, my dear. And then we're good to go. See, another reason why I need a new food processor, it needs to be bigger. You had a bigger one. So I don't want it to be super smooth. I want a chunky monkey, and that looks perfect. So, do you agree? Does it look perfect? Rose, you tell me. You're the boss. You guys, here's the funny thing. Rose, as soon as she comes in front of the lights, right? Were you just waving to the camera? Rose? I think she was. As soon as she comes in front of the camera, she is fixed on you guys. She doesn't cry. She doesn't, you know, yell for mommy. She just wants to hang out. She's waving. <laughs> yeah, you're waving, aren't you, young lady? Oh my God. You're so cute. If you're not following me on Flav City Instagram, uh, get over there because we make dinner every night on stories, which is really fun. But we do the daily rose and I share my favorite video or usually picture of rose. Adorable. Adorable. Okay, so this is good to go. Um, do me a favor also, just let me know where you're watching from. We got a bunch of new people. We got 659. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're, uh, what you're making for dinner and where you're watching from and share. Can we break the record of 988? 994. 994. Can we do it? You got to share this link over to Facebook and Instagram and let people know we're making recipes. We can't do it without you. We can't do it without you and the power of sweet rose. Now, I need some collagen water. Hold on. Okay. I'm using a nonstick pan here. You guys pick the oil to fry in. Should we fry in ghee, avocado oil, or duck fat? You choose, Art, tell me the winner. And the reason why this is great, it's gonna stick together from the fat in there. And then we just fry it up. It's super, super easy. Oh, I forgot to add the uh, green onions. Hello. I'll just mix those in. Exciting, isn't it, babe? It's just a few ingredients here. It's so darn exciting. Okay. Perfect. Give that one more mix up here. So funny, you guys. I get a few messages once in a while. They're like, Bobby, 
Can you please go back to cooking videos? We can't wait an hour during a live stream to see a recipe. Please stop doing the cooking, the grocery haul videos. And I tell them, give us time. We will go back and start doing more. But right now we love doing the grocery videos. And Art and I just today went to the Walmart Supercenter and we did a clean keto haul. The cleanest, most pure keto products you can get at Walmart. Because just because it's keto and low carb, high fat, doesn't mean it has high quality ingredients. And I wanted to show you the best cleanest keto ingredients and products at Walmart. Okay, so what are we doing, Art? I need a fat. Oh, it's either ghee or avocado. You know, ghee started out strong, then avocado caught up. I can't keep track of all these. We're going to do ghee then. Okay. We're going to do ghee. How's that sound? Somebody said them? half ghee and half avocado. It's an interesting thought. And actually, I'm running kind of low on uh, this, so maybe I'll do that. Right? Then we get the flavor of the ghee, but we stretch it. We don't waste it. So I'll put a little bit of ghee. This is grass-fed ghee from uh, Thrive Market. A little bit of avocado oil. The big old jug from Costco. Gonna let that oil warm up. And then uh, we'll be good to go. Bobby, Cuisinart, my brother. Got one for my sister and it's amazing. Shut your Amazon. Oh, I, sh I shot it to you, Amazon, in your inbox. Thank you. Cuisinart's old school and they're really good, so thank you for that. I've learned a lot from your cooking. Thank you, Mary. That's why we do it, right? I love the supermarket vids. Supermarket vids are interesting, and I love them too because a lot of people don't know how to shop the supermarket. And I think very few people like Art and I go there and really break it down for you. There's a lot of haul videos on YouTube, but they don't really tell you why. They don't really go into the, the depth of the ingredients like I feel we do. But we'll go back to cooking. Maybe we'll add a third video during the week of a cooking video. We're gonna take care of everyone. I think you should get a Roboku. Roboku, that's too fancy, Art. No. You guys know what a Roboku is? All right, I'll come back here, my friend. Okay. I mean, they are powerful, but they're also not very aesthetically pleasing, and I do, like, too. I do like my toys to look purdy. So, oil's in. It's about medium high-ish heat. This is how easy and rustic this recipe is. Just pick up a little bit of the salmon. Do you need wet hands for this? You actually not, don't. Not like meatballs? You, you don't because it's so fatty art. So what I literally do is I make a rough patty like this. I put it in like that, and I, I just push it down. Just Bless you, Rose. <laughs> and once again, it's because that farm-raised Atlantic salmon has so much natural fat in there, it binds to itself. Joseph it's, Finley in the house. Oh, Joseph Finley from Twitter, a huge fan. What up, brother? And it literally is just cook it for a few minutes until golden brown on each side. But look what I'm doing. I'm just making a crude ball here. Looks like a large golf ball, right? Put it in carefully. It's a, it's a big golf ball. Push it down. Keep your fingers out of the hot oil, obviously. And that's it. I'll get four at a time. That's why I love this recipe. It's foolproof. You cannot mess it up. There's no binders. There's no fancy molds or anything. It's literally... It's like a drop biscuit. It's a drop biscuit made of fish. But it's so flavorful. So that's it. I'm going to wash my hands. Make your own crackers called fish in a biscuit. <laughs> Every time Art and I go to the grocery store, especially like a Walmart, we can't help but see that biscuit called chicken in a biscuit. Cracker. Chicken right, in well, a... English would call it a biscuit, right? Yeah, chicken in a biscuit. I, it cracks me up. You know, it's obviously not Bobby approved, but it is so funny. Now, we take a fish spatula. And just gently pat it down a little bit so it gets a little flatter. This is such a big spatula, my God. Is biscuit in England, is that a cookie or a cracker? That's what I'm just trying to black on. Oh, uh, I think it's a cookie. What do you guys think? You gotta have somebody from the UK. Someone. Now, let's get going on the shirataki noodle salad. Whole chapter in the book, my friends. Check it out. I love the names of the chapters. We had a good time making those, so. Joe says cookie. Ah, thank you, Joe. So here's the names of the chapters in the book. Awakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, obviously breakfast. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I see food and I eat it is obviously seafood. But if I go to Pasta La Vista, baby, 73. Next week's live stream will be the uh, bolognese. Art's waiting for this, you guys. So this is Desi's keto gnocchi with prosciutto. Good too. It's almost, and it actually is just as good as real gnocchi. And there's no carbs in that. Um, we have... Spaghetti squash primavera with Greek-style chicken. 
But this is what the art's waiting for. And when, once when you say no carbs, you mean no carbs? I mean we're not very low carbs. Okay. Very low carbs. Sure. This is what art is waiting for. My three hour braised beef bolognese with shirataki fettuccine noodles and an arugula and pecorino salad. Unbelievable. Will so YouTube even let us do a live stream that I don't know. You know what we might do for that? We might actually like do a live stream until it's cooking fully, then shut her down, and then resume when it's done. Could flop some turkeys. Yeah, I can't. As much as I love talking and I have the gift of gab, I can't talk for about three hours. That might test my limits. Spaghetti squash pesto with spice crusted shrimp. These are the recipes in the book, you guys. You're gonna love these recipes. They're so full of flavor. Once again, Amazon link is down in the description box. Share that link. Let's get the keto train rocking and rolling all the way to Target, Walmart, and Costco, baby. So this is where I was going. Shirataki noodles play a big role in this book. And this is my favorite brand. It's called Pasta Zero by Nasoya. They don't smell funky. They don't have a weird uh, uh, texture. And what's cool about it is the main ingredient is something called konjac flour. Uh, somewhere down here. Konjac flour is a prebiotic. So I'm learning more about your stomach bacteria. Probiotics love high fiber foods. Konjac flour is a high fiber prebiotic, meaning it feeds your good gut bacteria. So this is not only low carb, actually very low calorie, very low fat. It's a prebiotic. So you're doing your body double good by using it. Candice, Candice Ma says, have Art talk for one and a half hour. <laughs> I think Art would. I think that's pretty tough. I think Art would have a really interesting time doing that. I'm very <laughs> succinct. <laughs> You've heard Art do the food critics. Very good. It's almost the same as Johnny P. <laughs> so I'm gonna reach right here and grab a scissors. And I teach you this in the cookbook. The key to making these noodles, just like pasta noodles, is to cook off the residual water. Because look how it's packed. It's packed in water. And if you just drain it like this, that's not good enough. You have to cook it. Otherwise, it'll water down your sauce. Fans are asking for the return of Donnie. They already miss her. Oh, dude, we're missing her. It's only been a few days. We're hoping she'll be back uh, in December. We're going to think she, she misses Rose so much. I mean, come on. When you have a face like this, you're going to miss it really, really quickly. So hopefully she'll be back. <clears throat> and then let's check our fish here. Ardio. Oh, yeah. The per yes, look at this. This is the beauty. Ready? All right, nice and G B D, golden brown and delicious. That's what you want. Now I forgot. I don't know why I forgot, but my splatter guard goes down. That'll just save you and make sure the oil doesn't go everywhere, which it already started to. But that's the beauty of a few simple ingredients, a hot pan. When you get food crusty and caramelized like that. That's more flavor. I call it free flavor. It's delicious. So what's up, Bubba? Huh? Let's keep cutting these. And then, Art, I'm preheating that beautiful new white nonstick pan there. Let me show these again because somebody is asking. Yes, oh, yes. They're sure talking here, to check it out. Right here. It was it asked. I can't remember. Get them at Walmart or Whole Foods. Walmart has the best price. It's $2.28. They're in the refrigerator section right by the vegan products and stuff like that. And... I'm telling you, once again, some people have bad experiences with shirataki. They say they smell weird and have a weird texture. This brand, I don't have that problem with. They make spaghetti and, and uh, fettuccine. It's fantastic. But you have to do what I'm just about to do right now. You have to drain them like this. And then just to take it one step further, I do like to rinse them because they were sitting in that package for a while. And if you don't cook them for eight minutes in a nonstick pan, it's not gonna work because there's still so much water in these. So what I do, Art, is I shake out as much as I can. Shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off, because some haters gonna hate, hate, hate. And then I come over here, and I go there. Is that the sound you wanna hear? Uh, yeah, ideally for this, this is the sound you wanna hear. And I'm cooking off the excess moisture so there's no water in here, because that would water down my sauce later on. And I noticed there's no oil in the pan either. You don't want oil because we're not really cooking it. We're dehydrating it. All right. Good observation. All right. Now, these are done. It was not a planned question, by the way. <laughs> we don't plan anything. What are you talking about? And once again, the benefit of using good quality farm raised really is that they have some forgiveness if you overcook them because they're just so darn fatty. 
And look how much oil is in the pan now. It actually leached some oil in there. So now I'm cooking the salmon in ghee, avocado oil, and salmon fat. That's sick. I'm cooking the salmon in their own fat. Who does that? You're a monster, Bobby. <laughs> Lisa Lopez just wrote up the lyrics to shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nelly Sanchez, no, I'm not the godfather to Rose. I'm just <laughs> Uncle Fart. He's Uncle Fart. <laughs> Paul, who's coming over, thinks he's the godfather, but he's not the godfather. Lise Haley. Lise Haley. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess your name's from Lise Haley. $1.99, Super Chat, Atlantic Pacific, Le best is Copper River Salmon. Yes. Thank you so much. If you can get that, I agree. It's not always available. Hey, I was in Costco the other day. I saw wild salmon for the price of... $9.99. It was the same price as the um, as the farm raised, but I think Copper River, Copper River, and King Salmon is the oilier. Someone who knows salmon, tell me which are the oiliest. King Salmon's also pretty expensive. Yes, King Salmon's thirty dollars a pound. Which which salmons are the fattiest? Because I don't like like the sockeye, because I just find that it's too meaty and too dry for my taste. Okay. What heat level are you dehydrating the noodles on? I'm Let's doing actually medium-high. Dehydrating is not the right word. It's evaporating. I'm, I'm really evaporating them. I should take a little break here to say that we are at 822. Whoa! Meters in Wait a second. Friends. Guys. That's amazing, and that puts us in a great spot to, like, kick it up a notch. Take it up another notch. Guys, 990, how many? Four? Uh, 827. Oh, the high? 9994. Oh, 994. 994 is our record. We have 600 and what? 30,000 subscribers, Rose? We gotta break 1,000 here, you guys. Share the link over to Instagram wall, Facebook page. You say, yo, this dude, Flav City and Art are hanging out, making some of the most amazing low-carb keto recipes from his cookbook. 125 low-carb recipes that actually taste good. I wanted to put that on the cover because the stigma of health food that is bland is very prevalent. This shatters that uh, stigma. Amazon link is down below. Share it with your friends and family. And by the way, Art. Art took that photo of Desi and I, and Rose was four months in Desi's belly right there. How cool is that? Lise Haley says her husband, who is from Alaska, says that pink is the fattiest. Uh, pink? Wild? Is that wild pink salmon? I've never heard of that. At least maybe you can clarify on that. Uh, yeah. I've never heard of wild pink salmon. Have you, young lady? I've heard of a rose. Uh, Jim Minion says, good wild caught salmon, deep red color. You want a salmon from a short, hard running river. There are a number of good runs on the West Coast, but Copper River has the best ad, man. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. What's up, dude? Yeah. Copper River is good. I just want to make sure it's fatty. What up, Paul? Ooh, fatty right. salmon is the best. Yet's a bet. Oh, wow. Piedrahita. Sorry, I know I'm not doing that right. $2 <laughs> super chat. You guys rock. Thank you for making keto recipes. You rock. Thank you so much. Very sweet. Thank I'm you for the super chat. I probably botched your name, but Super chat you. is a great way to support the channel. Have your comments seen, but the best way to support the channel, Rosie, is to get the cookbook and share it with your loved ones. Speaking of doing that, Judy yeah. Davis just ordered 40 of your cookbooks for family and friends for Christmas. I love to start my what? shopping early. Whoa, thank Jamie. you, Jamie. High five. 40 cookbooks? That is amazing. Do you hear that, Rose? I've been hearing that. I think people are starting Christmas shopping now because I'm hearing more and more people saying they're buying for Christmas. Joseph Finley, $4.99, Super Chat. Paul, come on over. Is coming. Any ideas about a keto chili bean replacement? Um, yes. In the cookbook, Joseph, I have a keto. Everyone say hi to Paul, by the way. The Eggman is in the Eggman house. has arrived. Chicken, beef. Eggman, beef man, chicken One man. Yeah, three. There's a few other words you so, you guys, in the book, and I'll share this on my blog for free eventually too, once the weather cools off, I have a recipe for, dun, 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 here we go, beef chili with red lobster cheddar bay biscuits, no beans, crazy, crazy flavor in this. This is delicious. There's ancho chili powder, garlic, smoked paprika, tomatillos. This is phenomenal with bacon too. This is great. I've had that chili. It's very good. It's a good one. All right, let's flip this. Wow, I actually got your name right, so <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> All right, check it Thank out. You. Let's see how the crust is on this guy. Beautiful. Yeah, she's getting a little antsy. She might want to go. It's in her contract. She can't stay more than 20 minutes. Otherwise, she it's gets like paid. Oh, what? That's, the twins. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't worry about that, you guys. We'll cover that back up. And this is going really well. 850 right now. I love it, you guys. We're going to break a record. All right, let's do Steam Vision. So come down here. 
Can you guys see the steam, steam right that is coming off of that? That's the enemy, right? The moisture is the enemy. By evaporating the enemy, we're gonna make them nice and dry. So when I make this amazing um, peanut noodle dressing later on, it won't get watery because we're taking all the water out of the equation. It's actually, it's an almond butter dressing, but I think I'm using peanut butter tonight because I have a big jar from Costco. Our ancho chili is hot. Some That's the beauty. Dressing. They're not hot. They're more fruity, fruity and sweet. That's what I thought. Yes. How's it going, Paul? Uh, okay. Good. You guys recognize Paul from the Trader Joe's video this week. Uh, he got a little flack in the comment section for not adding value. He added the most value ever because Trader Joe's is an impossible place to film. Uh, There's people swarming there. Paul made it look like we were shopping undercover, which is really nice. And don't forget questions about uh, wheat and being, uh, what was it, a facility that has wheat and soy in it that actually could oh, be an issue. <laughs> It's not just that that doesn't matter. Sometimes those remnants can actually get into the food. Well said. So. So there so were some insightful I loved when you suggested going to Flav City to look up his homemade ice cream recipe. Of yes. <laughs> yes. Has there, was there, um, I guess, an onslaught of requests? No, no. Page not found. <laughs> 505 or 404, whatever it is. Page not found. Well, the funny thing is one of Paul's nicknames is Witty, and he offers Witty commentary. And you have to understand, I called Paul the morning of that video and said, hey, can you come with us? to Trader Joe's to be like my undercover shopper. He didn't know what we were doing, yet he still provided funny comments and he provided shelter from the uh, employees. We still got kicked out, right? We went 10 minutes to the next Trader Joe's and we had no problem at all. No problem at all. Interesting That's what we- Yeah, can get those noodles at Walmart or Whole Foods. Yes. Walmart probably has a better deal. And speaking of Walmart, Art and I went to Walmart today, the Super Center over in Skokie, and we did a clean keto haul. What do I mean by that? Well, keto products are good because they're low carb, high fat, but that doesn't mean they're using good quality fat. It doesn't mean they're not adding preservatives and fillers. We went there and I showed you 15, actually maybe 20 of my favorite clean keto products that are really good fat, no preservatives, no additives, and um, there's a lot at uh, the Super Center. I was really, really, really impressed. Yepsi Beth wants to know if you have any other book signings come up, coming up because she missed your event in Chicago. I'm not in Chicago yet, but I think Paul and I might organize something. You never know, right? You, you never know. It's always possible. There was a pretty nice turnout, and I'm sure there's oh, man. people that would like to go to another event. It was a grand turnout. Uh, when we organized one. It was just grand. We got Asian salmon cakes and shirataki noodle with creamy peanut butter dressing. Just about to have some fish today, but I didn't have it. You came to the right place, Paul. It worked out great. Uh, Joe is asking when the Walmart video will be up Sunday, right? Sunday. Yeah. We, we get quick turnaround time. Saturday. Actually, you know what? It might be Saturday. Yeah. I think it might be Saturday's video. Sunday's video is either going to be an Aldi video that I have from a few weeks ago or whatever art and I film on Friday. Bebop Cowboy asks what your bicep size is. I don't know. I haven't measured it. Well, I think I can guess. Hulk Hogan's pythons <laughs> were known as the 24 inch pythons. I'm guessing Bobby's are about uh, maybe a little over a third, so I'm going to guess about 90. <laughs> I wonder if they heard that or not. You we can know grab the measuring tape. We can check. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but I'm excited for that video because people know about keto now but I don't think they know about the cleanest keto products out there. They just see that something is low carb. They just see that it's keto approved. There's a new pancake mix from Birch Benders that's keto. Instead of using tapioca flour like they use in their paleo ones, they're using almond flour. It was sold out today, but man, how cool is that, right? It's a almond flour and coconut flour mix. That's what you want. And mocha, it was clean ingredients. Mocha Caramel loves Paul. Added comedic value to the video. See, thank you. And Carla Collins just generously gave us a $5 super chat. Carla. Just click the Amazon button to order my cookbook. Wow, Carla, Carla. A super chat and buying the book. That's, thank you so that's much. That's a fan right there. And guys, do me a favor. If you already have bought the book and haven't left an Amazon review, please do that. And if you're going to order the book now, after you get it, leave a review because it turns out Amazon really likes reviews. This could be the greatest comment, comment of the video so far and maybe the rest of the evening. Dummy. From Alan Girl. You guys were the classic Seinfeld, George, and Kramer while in Trader Joe's. <laughs> wow. That is actually the highest compliment I've ever got. That is, I can't think of a better compliment. That is huge. Um, Thank you. I'm glad someone appreciates Seinfeld. Yeah, who's George and who's yeah, Kramer? You gotta give us some labels here. And maybe it was like a mix of both. 
I feel like Paul's more George. George Lewis Costanza. I don't think of myself as a Kramer. Well, Art's more like a Kramer, I feel like. I agree with that. George is someone I think anybody can be compared to would call that a compliment. True. Got to give a shout out here. Dean Farmer with $1.99. Ordering mine now. Thank you. Dino, yeah. thank you. MZK for life, $1.99. Thanks for giving me knowledge on clean eating. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. The cool thing is, as the Flav City community grows, which we're growing like wildfire right now, so thank you so much, people get introduced to who we are and they realize that we have a cookbook. This is someone who's really looking out for you. And you wouldn't believe. The messages I get on email and DM, people just say, thank you for the knowledge for teaching us how to cook. Thank you for this cookbook because I didn't realize that losing weight can be so healthy and tasty. Yeah. So. Alan Girl will just say that Bobby was Seinfeld. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm Jerry. Wow. Oh, you were the lead. So you, you, that would make, that would make I think sense. I'm, I, think I'm I, think, I don't think there was more one than the other. It's just that you're the lead and there are sidekicks. The well said. for Jerry are George Kramer, Well said. So it's. Well said. And another comment I get about the book too is that people say that they not only are losing weight, I, get, I got a message today, someone lost oh. 100 pounds in the last three months, or maybe it was five months, wow. but they're going off their medication. So diabetes medication going down. Diabetes is out of control in this country. The cost of that medication yes. is crazy, right? Yes, it absolutely. Is. Exactly, Paul knows about that. So yes, when they're eating recipes that actually taste good, and when you flip through this book, and whether you're at like a bookstore or Amazon, <laughs> you can land on any page here you're going to be like, oh, cheesy cauliflower tots? Yes, please. Ooh, crusty shrimp and roasted cauliflower curry? Yes, please. Beef kefta with veggie couscous? Yes, please. Coffee rub skirt steak with salsa verde? This is what we did. We made a book that had a flippability factor of 9.8. It would have been 10, but the Russian judge got us. But it's exciting food that'll make you feel good about being on a diet. Yep. Or normally you think about a diet, it's bland food, right? The same bland. Look, all the anti-obesity, anti-cancer organizations out there, that's nothing compared to Flav City and the impact <laughs> that it's having on the American people, the American public. This is where the money needs to go. Those organizations are bloated with excessive administrative costs. You know, the only administrative cost for Flav City, I think, is art. It, absolutely true. Paul edited and the book. that's actually not enough. Paul edited the book for free, actually. Yeah. Well, I, in, my, in return for these dinners. And I have to admit, I'm a little bit upset. You saw the perplexed look on my face. Or Pinterest look. There was a comma, I think. Ooh, oh. Oh, no. That's my fault. Anyone that's seeing was a set aside and an end. That comma should not have been there. I'm really sorry to hold you back. <laughs> well, I take blame for that because you have to understand, my grammar is that of a 10-year-old kid and 12-year-old. Thank you, Paul. Oh, and luckily, Paul was there to edit it. He caught so many mistakes. My biggest mistake was the use of commas, right? I think you struggle with the commas, but you start to come a long way. We're talking about the Oxford comma here? or uh, Just the regular. Okay. I think just the regular comma. But some of us can get a little carried away with the commas. Art equals Larry David. Alan Girl says, Art, you're Kramer. Remember him behind the camera. Hint, yes. Hint, taking photos of Elaine. Like Bootlegging the video. And taking photos of George, too. Yeah. So, Art, look, there's still some steam in here, right? But it's evaporating nicely, and the way you know it's done is when it starts to stick to the bottom. I said we have another minute. And if you're using a dark pan, this is my new pan from Zwilling. It's called Carrera White Nonstick. If it's a dark pan, you can see the cakiness on the bottom of the pan. I can feel it. If you were my hand right now, you would feel it, too. I'm going to give that one more minute. Well, we got one more super chat. Two what? more super chats. What? Candace V, $5. I wow. need to decide what to make this weekend. Maybe the salmon cakes. Can these be frozen? Yes, they can be frozen for three months. And Sasha Peterson lost 15 pounds. Thank you. And thank you with $5 as well. High five, thank Sasha. 15 pounds. Love to hear that. It's so easy to drop weight when you're eating feel-good food that tastes good because you don't feel like you're sacrificing anything. That's why I'm so excited about you know, the recipes in this book. Desi and I made the book because people requested it, and the, the, the reviews have been fantastic. So as soon as that noodle will come out, I'm going to chop them up. I'm going to throw a little bit of snow peas in here. Snow peas are great because they're lower in carb than sugar snap peas. Oh, snap. That's right. Oh, snap. I love snap peas, but they're higher in sugar. Um, and then a little red pepper. Then we're going to make the dressing, Paul. We're making a creamy peanut butter dressing with uh, tamari soy sauce, sesame, and sriracha. Genetically modified soy? Hell no, Paul. GMO soy ain't got no place in my kitchen. Now, technically, down for GMO soy. Technically, in the keto kitchen, they like to use um, uh, coconut aminos because they don't like soy. The thing is, this is non-GMO soy. It's organic. 
I like it because I love that salty umami soy sauce flavor and coconut aminos does not have it. So I'm okay using a tablespoon here and there because the flavor it offers is huge. Otherwise, coconut aminos are more sweet than they are salty. When in doubt, do not use a comma, that's what Joe says. Oh, when in Ooh, doubt. That's a really good grammar rule. Well, I'm in doubt a lot, so I don't know. Well, that shows uh, why you do it, but uh, always room for improvement. Uh, oh. Whoever asked, these are the Pasta Zero by Nasoya Shirataki. Here, let me keep the thing out Walmart here. And keep showing Apple this out. Get this, this is the only brand, here, sign for the reference. The only tennis racket that Milos uses, the, the only, only shirataki noodles that Flav City uses. Milos. Another point for Milos. Another point for Milos. <laughs> Another game for Milos. It's a pointer game. I think it's a, no, it's another, I think it's another game. Game, I think you're right. Ah, okay. Point. Oh, you're right. It oh, it, it's either another win or another game. Um, it's definitely not point, but I think it's game. Okay. And then I like when Jerry goes by, uh, walks by his wife and he goes, hey, are you one? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so Art, salmon cakes are coming along lovely. I'm going to stick them in the little um, oven to keep them warm. And then I'm cooking the snow peas and the red peppers over there. Not 100%. I'm just doing it. This we is my secret it. oven, by the way, you guys. Two dollar super chat from TKSM seventy seven. Thank you so Man, much. Mad love, my friend. This is my secret oven here that I just keep food warm in and stuff. Paul Anna Maria uh, says hi. Oh, Anna Maria from a uh, huge fan, old school fan. She's from Maryland. She's Hello, a group. She's been losing weight. She eats that crazy Richard's peanut butter that Bobby loves from Walmart. Love it, girl. Eight hundred seventy four people watching right now. Come Ooh. On, peanut butter. That was one of the predominant comments. There was a some kind of dialogue about peanut butter that got cut off and people were waiting. Oh my God, I know, yeah, so. I don't really remember that, but that's apparently what people were. Yeah, everyone wanted to know about the peanut butter at Trader Joe's and don't buy the no stir one because it has palm oil. Only buy the one that is organic or the one that doesn't have palm oil or sugar. And speaking of peanut butter, um, in the Walmart video, I do a shout out for this new nut company called Peely Hunters. They sponsored the video, so thank you for that. I'm gonna show you, it's the lowest carb, highest fat nut in the world, and they make nuts and nut butters that are the most clean keto product I've ever seen in my life. What nut is that again? Peely nut. Where do I yeah, show it right there, Art. Oh. Yeah, that's the nut, and show the butter. Show that chocolate butter, the front of it, Paul. That's um, their version of, uh, Nutella. So where can these nuts be found? I'm only on their website, but wait until the video comes out on Sunday. I have a promo code in there. It's 10% off. They're a little pricey because listen to this. They're only grown wild in Philippines in a volcanic rainforest and only fed with rainwater. They're not fed by humans and they're only harvested by hand. There's no machine in the world that can crack the peeling Apparently nut. they're not in the bulk section of Whole Foods. They're not. But what's so cool about them too is, look at this. They're, look at this art. They're sprouted. So there's a ton more nutrition Those in here. Uh, yet, um, yes, activated and sprouted. Pretty much okay. the same thing. Um, very, very good for you. So um, wait for Sunday. It's a really cool dude who's a surfer, and I'm super excited about uh, the sponsorship. Anna Maria, asked, myself. Anna Maria asked if, the, really cool. if you have autographed copies of you your You could have that yet. one. Of what? Autographed copies of your book. Yet. Um, not yet. So we will get a new shipment in. Every, I'd say, two months or so, we do autographed copies from home. And I advertise it on Instagram. So follow me at Flav City Instagram. And whenever we do it, we advertise it on stories. They sell out immediately. As the holidays come, I will have more. But it literally is like you buy it, I sign it, I wrap it. I'll call Paul. He'll come over. And I actually autographed one of the books at the end. That's of right. But maybe you can come. Request. Maybe you can come over and help us wrap it because we wrap them and ship them directly to you. So um, stay tuned for that. Questions: If you're going to ever offer your cookbook in other languages like Spanish? That's up to the publisher and. Sí, yo quiero uh, escribir mi libro en, en español muy, muy. Uh, <laughs> can translate. Yeah, Desi is much better than me. Yeah. Can, can or does Desi do a keto-friendly flan recipe? Ooh. She can. She can do I, anything. She doesn't do it, but she can do it. That's easy because it's just organic heavy cream, yeah. a little bit of uh, monk fruit sweetener. We'll, we'll do it for you. Don't we worry. We have a comment here that says, Paul is a cutie. Hey, and... The most eligible bachelor in Chicago, ladies. I think I thought Art's the most eligible. Art wanted to succeed that designation to you, actually. Is he, oh, 
Are you off the market? <laughs> no, he just wants you to be the most eligible. I've, I've occupied that title. He doesn't want the spotlight. He's had the spotlight too long. He wants to give you some spotlight. Uh, well, sure. it's, it's already been too long for me. I'm going to have to pass it on. That's right. Take this one, by the way. This one's for you. Try it right now, actually. It's so buttery. It's the highest fat nut in the world. It's crazy. And there's zero carbs. And where can, what website? Uh, uh, PeelyHunters.com. And this is really like the only place you can get it unless you it's, travel. They don't have it. Yeah. It's only from the Philippines. Folks, if you can share this video on all your social media, yes. online dating profiles, etc., <laughs> we are at 882 people and we are in prime position salty. to hit 994. Yes. Mm. Wow. And thank you to Sandy Hill for a $1.99 super chat. And oh, Sandy. Comments, thanks. You are all the best. Thank you, Sandy. How buttery are those? Ooh. It's crazy, right? Yeah. All right, so this is working lovely. And Art, look, even more of the salmon fat is rendering out. Cooking salmon in salmon. I'm cooking salmon. It's salmon on salmon action is what it is. Surf and surf. <laughs> but wow. that crust, it's just going to be so much oh, flavor. you got $4.99 what? contributed to Rose's college fund from Dahlia Benitez. So wow, thank you. Thank so you. I'm pretty sure Rose is not going to college, but thank you so much. I appreciate uh, that. It could be Rose's education fund. Well said. For other purposes. Paul's homeschooling? Yes. Montessori school? In fact, there are six states that have something called education savings accounts, in case you're curious, oh, which we, can be we, used for any purpose other than college. A nice. Paul is also a... Accountant, crime fighter, 401k planner, I'm extraordinary. A student of, no, a student of life. And yes, but I say a student of life. Student of life. There you go, people. You never stop learning. <laughs> wow. Alan Girl is doing her part watching with two different devices right now. You're awesome. That's the way to do it. <laughs> um, Whoa, Rachel Sedgwick. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Bobby, I am your biggest fan. Please teach me about produce next. Because of you, I haven't had sugar in over a month. Thank you for everything you've taught me. Wow, Rachel, $10 holler. Thank you so much. Sugar is the devil, el diablo. Everyone knows that sugar contributes to weight gain, um, obviously obesity, heart disease, but the one horrible thing about sugar is that it kills your good gut bacteria and promotes the bad bacteria in your gut. Horrible, horrible stuff. Do monk fruit. I'm doing a sponsorship with Lacanto monk fruit sweetener this month. They have it at Costco now. Keep it up, Rachel. That sounds fantastic. Saw another one here. Dean, can't wait for the book to arrive on Friday. Um, best, uh, let's see, so many of your flavorful best Horatian, Horatian chicken. What's that? Uh, sugar is the devil. Absolutely. My mama said that sugar is the devil. <laughs> um, My mama doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Hey, guys, these are the ingredients for our peanut noodle dressing or peanut dressing. It's organic peanut butter from Costco. In the book, I call for almond butter because it's slightly lower carb, but this is a great sub. Toasted sesame oil, um, tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce, good quality sriracha. We don't use the sriracha with the uh, rooster on here because it has two really nasty preservatives. This is a good one at Walmart. Liquid stevia, lime juice, and garlic. Do you have any finger peppers for this one? Um, I don't. Oh, I do have finger peppers to garnish, yes. But I've been tapering down on that because we don't want to give Desi any spicy food. So a little bit of garlic goes in there. Uh, this person uh, has to go pee but doesn't want to miss a thing. Hey. Bring it in with you. Don't hold it. <laughs> don't hold it. Go do it. You could get your Oh Yeah, we're, we're not going to, you're not going to miss anything. We're hanging out very slowly having a good old time. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of peanut butter. And this is why I love the one at Costco. The price is dino, but it's just peanuts and salt. There's no palm oil. There's no sugar. The amount of companies that use palm oil in their nut butters is astounding. And it's so bad for you and so bad for the environment, it's crazy they're using that stuff. Hey, 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 the elves vlog. You know, because you can't go to the oil section or the grocery store and buy palm oil. But they're all using it at the store because it's super cheap. It actually, it's very useful. I did not know that. Now, really bother so-called organic or so-called natural nut butters? Um, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's worse because then you don't expect... Uh, yeah, they put it in there. In it, and right? also another farce is raw almond butter is not raw because it's illegal to sell raw almonds in the U.S., they actually pasteurize them. So it's a total far, farce. If Peter Stahl doesn't like stevia, can you use maple syrup? Um, yes, maple syrup is not keto, um, but yes, you can use maple syrup. If you want to try another um, keto sweetener, try using erythritol or just um, use uh, monk fruit. That's what I would do, my friend. What about monk fruit? Whoa, scammer payback. 
$24.99. Cheers. Scammer. Thanks for by the other night, Bobby. And Mark. Uh, uh, Dude, Scammer Payback. Awesome, guys. Christian, go check out Scammer Payback's uh, channel. Thoroughly entertaining. We watched a live stream. He basically calls scammers who try to scam you, keeps them on the phone for two hours, and totally messes with them, wastes their time. It's hilarious. Christian this, this is my favorite is, John Deere tractor right here. It's about $20,000. I don't have that kind of money, but I love uh, these tractors. Oh, that's what I watched. It, it was so great. funny. You're doing, you're doing the Lord's work, Christian. It's really, really funny stuff. Comment on one of your videos, Trader Joe's one, that was the same thing. It said, Bobby, you're doing the Lord's work. Oh, well, I guess we're both doing the Lord's work. Yes. All right? Shout out to Elf's vlog. All right, let me get a bowl here. And we're pretty much done, you guys. So you know what I want to do? So I want to make my homemade sweet chili sauce. I don't right now have keto maple syrup, and I talk about it in this weekend's clean keto haul at Walmart. There's no... Keto maple syrup <clears throat> on the market that doesn't have natural flavors. And so for that reason, I'm okay using the Birch Benders one because every other ingredient's clean. And if you want maple syrup, there's no alternative and you need one on keto. So even though it has natural flavors, I'm okay with it. Now, I'm gonna make it with agave nectar, which is not keto, but that's all I have. But all you have to do is substitute the agave for keto maple syrup. The one at, um, I mean, Amazon has it, but the one at uh, Walmart is fantastic. <laughs> I refuse to try erythritol. It sounds like something that belongs in a lethal injection. <laughs> it's like erythromycin. I don't even know That's hilarious, that. dude. Well, even monk fruit sweetener has a little bit of erythritol blended in to make it, um, make it a one-to-one -one replacement with sugar. So here's what I want to do. <clears throat> you know when you go to the store and you get that sweet chili sauce that's kind of orange and everything? That's pure diabetes, right? That's fructose corn syrup, refined sugar. I make my homemade version. It's, yeah, diabetes in a bottle, actually. Yeah, bottle, yeah. yeah. Diabetes. Diabetes, if you're Will, from Brimley. Diabetes. Diabetes. Well, Brimley from the 80s commercials was Betis. So I make it with rice wine vinegar, agave nectar, which is not keto, use keto maple syrup, and I do it with sriracha. It's sweet, spicy, sour. So what I do, I take a pan here, Art. I add a little bit of agave. I feel like Jim Nance covering the Masters. <laughs> but once again, this would be... Um, Keto maple syrup. Then I add some sriracha. Then I add some rice wine vinegar. Sweet, salty, sp spicy. You reduce it, you taste it, it's done. It's the easiest thing you've ever done in your life. While that is reducing, we're gonna come right back here, Art. In this bowl, right? For you the just got another $24.99 from Scammer Payback. Christian. Love making people laugh. Didn't need the shout out, just showing some love. Love y'all's channel. Where's my pitch tank <laughs> recipes? Specifically the shrimp, if I remember. That's right. I'm, I'm not Christian. High five, dude. You, you rock. Thank you. You are so charitable. A um, little bit of uh, peanut butter, garlic, same sauces. We use a little bit of the tamari for salt. We use a little bit of toasted sesame oil for that nutty flavor. And then we add for sweetener, buy the stevia from Trader Joe's. It's just such a good price. We'll add three drops to start. 900 Stuff. people right now. Wow, nine guys, keep sharing the link. Maybe we can break a thousand. Then we'll add spiciness, sriracha. Then we'll add some lime juice for the acid. I'll help. <laughs> Paul spreads the word. Yeah, I might even start my own fund. <laughs> and then a little bit of salt and pepper. Scammer, what is the record for one phone call from start to finish, how long it went? Just fire that at me, I'm curious. Yeah, I don't know how Stammer stayed on the phone for two hours calling back like a scamming company and just wasting their time. And then you Alan your Girl, time. I will say hi to my mom. His live streams though, so it's fun. Alan Girl wants me to say hi to my mom because her rhubarb pie looked delicious. Ooh, oh, oh she nice! Story that day. Oh, I wonder if you brought any over. That was a delicious rhubarb pie. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. We ate it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see if I'm missing anything from uh, my ingredients here. Mm, I lost my book. Lacanto is your favorite brand of monk fruit, right? Correct. Yeah. And I'm doing a uh, promo. I'll have a discount uh, later this month. So hang on to that if you want to buy it. I can't find it. But uh, where can I buy <clears throat> coconut butter for the fat bread recipe? Only on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, new uh, Nutiva. You can use almond, uh, you can, almond butter. Almond butter, you can use too. Yep. Uh, so I need a little bit of water because this is very thick. So I'm going to grab some of my alkaline. Millie Sanchez really wants you to do a Thanksgiving full dinner. I was thinking about doing that. Well, first, I'm going to do a Thanksgiving shopping haul, telling you the best quality ingredients they get for that. And this is just bubbling away here. 
I'm gonna tell you the best stocks, corn, turkey, cornbread, all the ingredients for that. And it's gonna take a lot of work to do that, but maybe I'll do it for you. It's made by cornbread. Did you really? Yeah. Nice. As you should be, Paul. Okay, let's check this out. So this should be a combination of like sweet, salty, spicy, and sour. The backbone of Asian flavors. It's getting there. But number one, it's too thick, so I need more water. Let's see how much. I play it by ear, right? And then I want to add a little more lime juice. And then a touch more salt. Scammer, payback. What happened? Just answering my question and giving forty nine ninety nine. What? He had a six hour and fifteen minute. Oh my call. god, dude! Thank you so much. Okay, first I just of all, you to answer the question. You didn't have to do that. dollars, dude. You are Christian is the biggest supporter ever. Thank you. He did a live stream. Does YouTube let you do a live stream for six hours? That's insanity, man. <laughs> dude, that is total insanity. So, all right, check it out. Now it looks, you guys, just like that stuff from the bottle at the store, except it's not made with high fructose corn syrup. The thing is you have to check it for seasoning to make sure it's balanced. So let me see here. I don't want to burn my mouth. Alan girl's asking if Scammer's single. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's married. I mean, someone like that's not gonna be on the market too long. Ooh, that's good. That is delicious, you guys. Wow, it's the perfect blend of heat, sweet, and sour. So I'm is just gonna listen. recipe for the sweet chili sauce online? Um, yes, go search Flav City shrimp cakes. It's my shrimp cake recipe that is very similar to the salmon one, but I have that. It's from a month ago on my <clears throat> blog, but if you just search on Google, it'll come up. So let me also, let me adjust a little more heat here and blend it up. I want it to be loose and pourable, but you don't want to add too much water, because then you'll have to go back and add more peanut butter because it gets too loose. Yeah, somebody just subscribed to Scammer. I, I thoroughly recommend that. It's oh, for great sure. Stuff over there. Almost there. It's not there yet. A little more lime juice. This is the beauty of cooking. I give you the base to start with, but if you like it more spicy, you add more spice. If you like it more salty, you add more soy. You like it the lime. That's right. You like it the juice? I like it the juice. You don't know that one? I know that. I'm Someone tell Paul what that's from. We were on the verge of saying something witty there. I was just watching. Yeah. Like, oh, he, Someone tell Paul what that was. Now, before I season you, this, Paul. I'm going to season the noodles because, yes, you're close. The noodles are bland as can be, you guys. And just because my dressing is super Pepper, flavorful, uh, close. That was from uh, Hubs Gyros. I think it was in Hubs A little bit of salt, pepper, lime juice. It's just the same principle as seasoning a salad, you guys. My dressing is bomb, all right? But the, the salad, the noodles or the greens are always bland. Season at every step of the cooking process so you build ultimate flavor. And then I take my dressing here, I pour a bunch over, and I mix it up. And all of a sudden you're like, whoa, like this is starting to look. How come you don't pour it around the side? Ah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> um, because I know there's enough. Okay. I'm not dressing it like a salad. I know it's not going to be swimming in it. That's right. Like this video. Scammer's encouraging people to like it. Scammer's the man. Like it. Like and share. So all of a sudden now, the smell is righteous because you have that peanut thing going, right? And like I said, in the cookbook, we use almond butter because it's slightly lower carb. But now I check it for seasoning. It might need another squeeze of lime juice, but this is the way to get your noodle fix on the keto diet. So the whole chapter of Pasta La Vista, we have recipes with shirataki. We have recipes with um, roasted spaghetti squash. Delicious. The noodle still has a bite to it, but this sauce, I'm telling you guys, you can pour this sauce over your finger and just eat it like that. It would be good. Or you could pour it over an old shoe, I was gonna say. Ooh, wow. Okay, donezo. Guys, we're close to plating here. We got 900 people having a good time, right? Love, live, like, and share, says Millie. Let's get the, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Where do you get the noodles? Art, show again. You guys, these are the only noodles Bobby likes, just like Milos likes the tennis racket. Get them at Whole Foods or Walmart. 
The scammer says, okay guys, going to put the little one down. Congrats on your amazing channel. Much love to everyone. So respect you guys. Cheers. See you, Christian. Thank you, man. Thank you. See You're you, man. so generous. Appreciate one. it. And I said it earlier, the cool thing about these noodles, the whole bag has, uh, what is it? Six net carbs, which is crazy. But the main ingredient here is konjac flour, which is very high in fiber. High fiber vegetables are called prebiotics. They feed the good probiotic bacteria in your gut. So this is such a gut healthy, low carb noodle that is so good for you. So if you're on keto, get this brand. I only like the Pasta Zero by Nisoya. They should really start paying me for that because I drive a lot of traffic their way, but it's fantastic. It's $2.28 a package at Walmart and $2.98 at Whole Foods, um, but it's fantastic. And I'm all about fostering good gut bacteria in your tum tum, right? Anna Very Maria, important. Anna Maria wants to know if Johnny's coming over tonight. Um, Johnny is not no, coming tonight. Wednesdays are not Johnny nights? When, when, Wednesdays can be, but it's a little busy tonight. We don't want to have too much hubbub around Rose. And John's kind of busy, you know, like he wanted to go to the gym with me today, but Art and I were working at Walmart and uh, John's got a schedule. He got cable? Uh, no, but he's got a busy, busy day. You know, he meets and greets with people. Manicure? Uh, he might have had a latte, afternoon latte at the oh, coffee shop yeah, today. The whole experience of actually going there for those lattes is hard to resist. Uh, did you get those in the Skokie Walmart Supercenter? Yes, we did. Art and I were there for four hours today. My, we were filming at Walmart for four hours today. Nine or ten people stopped us and recognized us. They're like, we love your channel, uh, a Marine, girls, guys. It was a lot of Bears fans there. It was wow. really, really cool. We had a great time. It was super fun. It's just so fun to meet people out and about. And they're like, wow, thank you for changing our shopping habits. My whole family watches you. Pretty cool, you guys. Pretty cool. Sometimes I don't realize how many people we reach. And it's very humbling to actually meet people and get messages like that. So thank you for the support. Okay, now it's time to build a plate. And I just want to show you how beautiful this is. I think one of the people we met said her whole family watches. Yeah, she said her whole family watch. Wow, it's fun for the whole family. It was. Because you guys... What we didn't realize when we first started doing shopping haul videos back in October of last year is that people don't know how to go in the grocery store and buy the right ingredients. They don't know how to shop. They don't know how to read ingredients. And the very first one we did was a Costco. It went viral. It has 2 million views on YouTube because people want to walk into the store and know what to buy. That's why I'm putting the final touches now on the Bobby Approved Shopping Guide. It's called Bobby Approved What to Buy or what to, like the Ultimate Guide to Shopping in the Grocery Store. It's broken down into categories. Bobby approved cheeses, nut butters, uh, bread, all that stuff. Um, Bobby approved stores, what to buy at Walmart, Aldi, Trader Joe's, and a master ingredient list telling you, is this good, is this bad, and why? And I'll need you to proofread it. Oh, probably. right. And I was hey. about to say, it needs an editor. Yes. Before you plate that, do you think we should have one last drive to share this out? We're at 906. Okay, let's do it, guys. 906. I'm going to plate this, we're going to try it, and then we're going to break for dinner. Last chance. Take the link in this video, share it over to Instagram and your Facebook wall. Say, Bobby, Paul, Art, Rose, Desi, they're making keto recipes from their cookbook. Amazon link down below. Hang out with us. What else you got to do on a Wednesday night? You want a happy hour? You're going to play some uh, Call of Duty? No, you're going to hang out with us. Have a good old time, right? So now we're going to play. Come on in, Art. We take our delicious. And look, guys, because I evaporated that water, there's no pool of water here. If I didn't, It'd be swimming in water right now. So I take my noodles. Whoa! And I plate them right here. A little more. Get a little. Smells bit. delicious. Yeah, I love the smell of that hot peanut butter. It's just fantastic. Okay. Then I take, I'll take three of these. The color, guys, when you can caramelize food like that, it adds an extra layer of flavor. Right? Then I come back here. Oh, this yeah. is my homemade sweet chili sauce. Don't forget that. We'll be making this live in Austin, Texas on the 28th at the Michelob Movement Festival. We drizzle oh, yeah. that over there. That's what I'm talking uh -huh. about. Uh-huh. And it, you can make this keto if you had the birch benders or any kind of keto maple syrup. Isn't that pretty? And then we don't stop there. We, we take a little bit of sesame seeds here. Hey, you know the food's gonna taste good. You might as well make it Lots look good. Red finger peppers. Oh, yes, thank you, Art. And then, I mean, I have a whole note in my book saying, hey, you know those red finger peppers you always see me cook with on Amazon, on uh, YouTube and everything? I get them from Whole Foods, right? They always have them. Or if you have a Mexican market by you, 
I'm just gonna finely slice that and run my knife through it one more time. I like them because they're not so spicy. They're more fruity and delicious. And then I just garnish from the heavens. And you guys, can I get some love? Can I get some thumbs up? I wanna see those thumbs up above a 300 right now. Four, keto approved Asian salmon cakes with a low carb shirataki noodle salad with a creamy peanut butter dressing. And we'll just call it for now, keto sweet chili sauce. This is one of over 125 recipes in Desi and my cookbook. And when you're eating this kind of food, would anyone say, oh man, it feels like I'm on a diet. This is so boring. No, this is feel good food that is gonna help you lose weight. Feel good without sacrificing flavor. Who the heck wants to go on a diet and feel like they're dieting? You won't feel like you're dieting when you're eating this kind of food. So Paul, you're gonna try this with me right now. And once again, Amazon link for the cookbook is in the description box. If you live in another country, don't use my link. Just search Flav City on your local Amazon browser. It ships worldwide, my friend. All right, our, Paul, you are the guest. Go ahead. This is actually freaking beautiful. Trying the salmon? I would try the salmon first, yeah. Let's try a little bite of that. Wow. Look at the inside there. Juicy, mm -hmm. crusty layer of... Uh, Great. Wow. Wow. Right? Flavor and stuff. Flavor. It's got flavor and stuff. Paul is just a wordsmith when it comes to eating. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Is that, a, is that a super chat? Yeah. $5 from Yetzi Beth Peter Drahita. Gotta go, guys. Thank you. Mad love. Do a meet and greet in Chicago. I've lost 20 pounds of keto. Thanks for the free education. Thank you. Thank Yetzi you. Beth. We will do it for sure. You'll be the first to know. And thank you for that super chat. You guys. First of all, the salmon is juicy as can be. It's got a ton of flavor because it's seasoned perfectly, but that sauce on top drives everything home. And then you try the noodles with it. Bob, you try the noodles? Oh. They're very long, so you gotta put them like this. Mm. I feel like Paul and I could have a, uh, what's it called? 101 Dalmatians moment with the noodle. <laughs> I never saw it. What? You I've didn't see it. it. Have you, you seen 101 it? Dalmatians? I know of it. You never I saw it. I remember the year, 1986. I just don't remember. You know the year? Oh my God, that is hilarious. Noodle what, salad. What else happened in 86? A lot of things. Well, yeah, but. Mm. Noodle salad 17. is banging. The bears. Oh, Lady and the Tramp. That's oh, thank you. I yes, always make MZ that mistake. SCT corrected us and many others. It's Lady and the Tramp. Off. Thank you. I always make that mistake. Right. So, guys, this is full of flavor. In the book, the Asian salmon cakes are served with a shirataki stir fry, which is slightly different. I decided to pair it with this one here. Here it is. The creamy almond butter noodles with beef lettuce wraps. My take on like P.F. Chang's wraps, but actually good not loaded with uh, fructose corn syrup and nasty stuff. This is grass-fed beef. So guys, that is it. Once again, thank you for the support for the book. Over 535 star reviews on Amazon. Coming soon to Costco. Uh, I don't know if you heard that earlier. They're doing a sample run at Costco. If it does well at Costco, they're gonna order nationwide to every Costco wow. store. Walmart is on the cusp of doing a holiday order, so knock on wood, but let's show them that we can do it. Amazon link in the description box. Share it with anyone who wants to be on a low carb keto diet, but not feel like they're sacrificing flavor. Cause this is the cookbook for them, you guys. It's gonna change their life, right? Alan so. Alan Girl wants to know, are you gonna have a live stream on Friday too? Um, play it by ear. Cause Friday we gotta film a video and then get the Saturday video ready. So um, play it by ear. I'm not sure yet. Thank you guys. Um, so happy for you too, Sandra. I appreciate that. Um, let's see, thank you, body. Would it work with that diet? Um, a few of the recipes do work for that, but it's not really for that diet. Um, yes, Bobby, can you tell us why you decided to go keto and what makes it healthy? So we're not a strictly keto family, we're keto paleo. The diet resonates with us because there's no uh, inflammatory starch in grains and it's a very gut friendly diet. You feel good when you're on it. So I'm not trying to lose weight, Desi's not trying to get into ketosis. We want to eat food that gives us energy and makes us feel good. And when you eat paleo and keto food, you're eliminating starches, grains, um, stuff you don't want to put in your body because 
gluten's very inflammatory. Um, stuff like corn is high in starch. It just makes you feel good and has a ton of energy. We blend the two because we like fruit, we like sweet potatoes, but we love the way it makes us feel, right? We love it. Uh, Indianapolis, please review Meyer stores. We will do Meyer for sure. Uh, we just gotta travel a little bit for that. Oh, Art, they wanna see you try. Yeah, Thank you, I, I forgot. Try some. I Let's switch around here, yes. Everyone say hello to Art. Today hey, he is sporting hey. the retro World Series champion shirt here. Not so retro to go <laughs> to 19 You got it, Ryan. Globalization is a good thing. Yes. Going for the salmon first, because that's apparently the protocol. That's right. That's the okay. protocol. And Art doesn't care anything about keto diet. He just likes tasty food. I like good food. <laughs> we don't have sprouts, but we will go and there. And this is. Right? Mm. Nice sweetness to that. Nice texture, too. Exactly. Speaking of sweetness, uh, today is a momentous day. Yeah. 20 years ago. Ultra Payton. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. For those who are into Chicago. Mm -hmm. Does so, Art so. own Bears apparel? Yes, I do. Ah, oh, you do? We got to start wearing that soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, Art's a huge Bears. <laughs> yeah. They have the, the statue of sweetness now. Oh, they do? And, uh, I, know. I can oh, leave sister. now. Art has yeah. eaten. <laughs> Go make this and eat it. You'll love it. Bro. That's awesome. So, all right, guys. <clears throat> that is it. Uh, good times. Art and I had a long day at uh, Walmart, but we never stopped because we like hanging out with you. Now it's time to plate some dishes. Desi's in the background with Rose. They want to eat. Everyone say hi to Desi. Um, Friday, we might do a live stream. Not sure. Saturday, we'll have the Walmart Clean Keto. Sunday, either an Aldi video or something else I'm going to work on Friday. But great hanging out with you. Thank you so much for supporting the book. Mad love. Keep on cooking and... Peace. And as Joseph Finley said earlier, da bears. Da, da bears. Tomorrow night, Packers are going down. Sorry, uh, Dirk. So. They're going down.